What's up guys, thanks for coming by my channel. Today I'll be doing a review for the upcoming horror movie, The Curse of La Llorona, the next chapter in the Conjuring universe. If this is your first time here, I like asking everyone, leave the comments below what you think of this movie, if you do plan on seeing it, if you already have seen it, and how would you rank The Conjuring movies? What would be your number one? Don't forget to like and subscribe in order to hear more content from me regarding movie reviews, rankings, and more. This movie, I had no expectations whatsoever of it being bad or good. And the reason why is because one, the last movie in the Conjuring universe, The Nun, was absolutely horrible. I was so disappointed in that movie. And two, with this being a standalone film, I didn't want to say it'd be horrible and I didn't want to say it was gonna be great. So this movie is directed by Michael Chavez and he will be directing the upcoming Conjuring 3. James Wan executive produces this movie and you all know his name of course from many other films but he did direct the first two Conjuring movies so he is somewhat involved with this film. For people that are not familiar with La Llorona, quick description, she is a Mexican folklore story about a woman who drowned her children and pretty much put misfortune on others who eventually hear and see her. So it was an urban legend that was pretty much to scare children off. The movie takes place in 1970s Los Angeles where we meet Ana Garcia and her children. She's a social worker working on a case regarding another mother and her kids. The kids seem to be an endangerment to the mother regarding some foul play. As she digs deeper to find more information, she finds connections between that case and everything that's going on with herself and her kids with all these supernatural occurrences that are happening. Well, she finds out that this Mexican folklore, La Llorona, is after her child and eventually turns to mysticism with the help of a local priest. First, I'll start out with the good, what I did like about this. The cast to begin with, I was surprisingly amazed by. The main star, Linda Cardellini, was perfect as the mother. I never thought saw her as a mother figure. I've seen her in many things before, and this was a kind of a new role for her. She kind of reminded me of Winona Ryder in Stranger Things, that type of urgency and overprotectiveness for her children, and she pulled it off really well, and I really felt sympathy for everything she was going through in this movie. And in regards to the kids in this movie, which I cannot remember their names, they did an amazing job. I was actually really impressed with them, and they had, of course, a big role because La Llorona is after children, so a lot of those thrilling, chilling type of scenes involved those kids, so I thought they did pretty good. And then you have Father Perez, played by Tony Amandola, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and for those of you who've seen all the Conjuring movies, do remember him from the first Annabelle film where he helped out that family with Annabelle, so he's really seasoned in what's going on with the supernatural, and they were the he was the best person for this family to come to, and I like that little connection that they made to the rest of the Conjuring universe because that's really the only, really big, big, big thing that's connect that makes that whole connection to the rest of these movies. As a horror movie, it does its job. It has that eerie atmosphere. Now, with the director of this film. Michael Chavez, even though James Wan didn't direct it, he, you can tell he's trying new things as a director, but he's kind of borrowing some of the ideas that James Wan did in his movies that he directed with the different types of camera work and lighting. You can tell that he wants to keep it in the same universe, but I liked how it explores the Mexican culture regarding La Llorona and where she came from and how the mother finds out about more about her and the connection between the case that she was working on and her children and what's going on supernaturally and it becomes kind of like a mystery investigation type movie along with the horror elements. And I like it when movies combine genres like that as long as they can write it really well. And with a horror movie, when you take another genre, it makes it more interesting. Like Jordan Peele did it with us combining horror and, and comedy together. And I thought that worked well. Now this movie's not as great as us, but I liked how it made these different genres come together that made it more interesting and entertaining to watch. Now for the bad, what I didn't like first off was the scares in this movie. I thought they were cheap scares to be honest. I know some people like that, but to me I like to be generally scared and I like it to pace itself out. James Wan, if you've seen The Conjuring movies and any of his other horror films that he makes, he really is subtle with how, you, how he scares the audience and he makes it happen little by little. This one I thought it was a bit too quick and along with that, the pacing of this movie is very quick because you got so many things going on at once. And mind you, this movie is about, I think an hour and a half long and you're finding about her investigating this other family and with what's going on with her children, with her getting help from the priest and finding out what to do about La Llorona and the children, how they're reacting to La Llorona. And it's so much going on that you don't really get as much character depth as you should. I mean, granted, this is a horror movie and character development means nothing. That's not important, usually. 
but I would have liked the characters to be fleshed out a bit more. And I know I mentioned this before about the director, how I feel that he took ideas from James Wan as well as trying his own thing. Sometimes it worked in this movie, but there's some scenes, especially the scenes with the kids, that I felt like it did feel like The Conjuring films, but it felt like he was trying too hard to make it feel like the other movies. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. He's gonna direct Conjuring 3, and I'm really excited to see that after seeing this movie because I thought he did a good job overall. And with all my reviews, I like to always say, how does this movie benefit us in life and inspire us? And yes, even in horror movies, I believe there's inspiration there somewhere. It took me a while to think about this movie, but I've come to the conclusion that it shows how much you're willing to go as a father or mother to protect your own child. So all in all, I like this movie. I thought it was good. I mean, by no means, it's not the same caliber as Titanic or Gone with the Wind, but it was just a fun movie to watch. And it's not the worst movie, The Conjuring Universe, by the way. That's The Nun. I'm gonna give the honor to that movie. So I'm giving this a C plus as its letter grade. I think it deserves that. It's just right in the middle, decently fun movie. But as I always like to say, don't ever let my opinion stop you guys from going to the movies. This is just my thoughts on how I feel about it. What I may think about a certain movie, you may think differently. And like I said, that's the beauty of opinions. I wanna hear your thoughts on this. Tell me in the comments below what you thought about this movie. If you plan on seeing it in theaters, tell me your favorite Conjuring movies. And speaking of them, I will be doing a ranking video of all the Conjuring movies, hopefully within the next week. So make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned to that. Y'all have a great weekend. I'll see you at the movies.